my people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a damn good day. Welcome back to the channel. And can I just say, it is the channel's birthday. That's right, three years ago, I released my first ever video on this channel. So, hmm, how time flies when you're having fun. But if you can, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you are new, right now, we are going to be doing Benfica's 4231 Roger Schmidt's system set of tactics, of course. Up front, we've got Cabral, we've got Rafa, we've got João Mario, we've got Di Maria, of course, we've got Cockatoo, one of my favorite players um, that just, you know, Manchester United never signed. We've got Fiorentino, we've got Otamendi Silva, Bar. We've got um, Urzins, I think that's how you pronounce it. We've got Vlacadimos, we've got Musa, Nerez, another really one of my all-time favorite FIFA players to use. Um, we've got Chiquinho, we've got Neves, we've got Herbin, a new signing, of course. We've got Gilberto, uh, Morata. We've got a few other players here on the bench as well, but it's a very thin squad. So maybe they will look to try and either bring in a few players from the Youth Academy or alternatively, they'll look to sign somebody. Um, but as you can see right over here, we have got the current set of... Um, or the current formation, it is set to a 4-2-3-1 narrow. Of course, you're playing with one goalkeeper, two centre backs, two full backs, two centre defensive midfielders, three cams, and of course, one striker. Benfica's tactical approach revolves around a dynamic and strategic blend of defensive and offensive tactics, meticulously designed to control the game and capitalize on opportunities. In defense, Benfica employs a press after loss of possession style, ensuring a swift and aggressive response to regaining the ball. This system seamlessly transitions from attack to defense, allowing for effective counter pressing to disrupt the opposition's boulder play and regain control. The defensive setup prioritizes narrowing the field with a width of around 40, compelling opponents to navigate through congested central areas. This strategy aims to force the opposition to play the ball through Benfica's well-prepared midfield duo of Cockatoo and Fiorentino, who are well adapted at intercepting passes and breaking up opposition attacks. With a depth of 60, the team maintains a medium block, denying space behind the defensive line while offering protection to key players like Otamendi. This ensures a solid defensive foundation and minimizes the risk of opponents exploiting the defensive line with through balls. Offensively, Benfica adopts a patient slow build-up style, emphasizing controlled position and intelligent movements. This approach allows the team to dictate the tempo of the game, patiently probing for openings in the opposition's defensive structure. For chance creation, the focus is exploiting space through forward runs, enabling players to press high and make well-timed runs behind the opposition's defensive line. This stretches the defense and creates opportunities for penetrating passes and crosses from the flanks. A width setting of 70 is employed to provide ample space for fullbacks to operate in, in the wide advanced areas. This widens the field, stretches the opposition's defensive shape, and creates gaps for both the overlapping fullbacks and the forward line to exploit. Players in the box is set to eight, and this maximizes the chances of converting crosses and capitalizing on offensive situations. This suits the high volume of crosses played from the fullbacks and adds a significant aerial threat. In set piece situations, the team maintains a balanced approach with the setting set to four for both corners and free kicks, ensuring a solid defensive setup while posing an offensive threat from dead ball situations. So for the goalkeeper Vlacodimos, of course, you're not going to be playing a very high line or anything like that. So he's not going to really be said to be the sweeper keeper or anything like that. And of course, he is looking to, to leave Benfica. So we'll see how that pans out, to be honest. But more importantly, his instructions are set to come for crosses. He's going to be the aerial guy that, you know, is going to claim those balls in the air, the uh, fired in crosses and everything. So he is going to have that job and he's going to do that very, very well. But more importantly, slightly forward up the field, we've got Silva and Otamendi. They are set to their base set of instructions. And then we'll go slightly out wider, starting off on the right hand side. We've got Bo. He is set to join the attack and overlap, of course. So he's going to be bombing on down that right hand side, holding the width of the field. And also, we've got Orzins, who is set to join the attack and overlap. He's going to be holding the width down that left-hand side. Of course, they're going to be your, your the most widest players on the field. They're going to be in operating that wide space, stretching the opposition back line in certain moments, firing in those crosses as per always. And then, slightly up the field, we've got Fiorentino. So he is going to more or less be the, the out-and-out defensive midfielder of the pair, whereas Cockatoo is going to look to try and get forward a bit more, be a bit more involved in the, the, offensive, um, side of, uh, the offensive side of things. Anyway, he is set to cut passing and stay back while attacking. This is Fiorentino, by the way. Stay back while attacking, normal interceptions, stick to position, and then, of course, cover the wing. So he will also look to try and um, cover for either or fullback bombing on. Um, so he's going to look to try and start in that um, wider area from time to time throughout the course of the game. And we've got Cockatoo. Like I said, he is set to cut passing and have a bit of a balanced attack. So he will bomb on forward in certain moments if the gameplay needs it, um, or the, the team need the extra man in 
higher up the field of course. He is set to no interceptions, sticks position and of course cover the win. And then starting off on the right hand side we've got Angel Di Maria. He is set to come back on defense, get into the box and of course drift wide. So of course you do have forward runs on and that's already stretching the defense. But this is a further element of that defense being stretched and pulled. Of course you've got bar bombing on forward. So it does, you know, add a nice little element in that wide right hand side where the offense or the opposition I should say, they don't know exactly who to stick and who to go with. Um, which is really, really nice. It's a nice little element of surprise, you could say. And it does get the best out of Angle Di Maria. Of course, he's not the fastest player anymore. He is aging. He's borderline retirement. But you know what? He is still a serviceable superstar um, that Benfica can definitely use. As for Rafa, he is set to come back on defense, get into the box, stick to position, and of course, normal inception. So he will look to try and drop into that midfield from time to time, allowing them to, you know, more or less link up quite well, but also adding a nice little layer of defensive support. And then... Joao Mario here set to the same set of instructions, come back on defense, get into the box, stick to position, and then of course normal interception. So he will look to try and help out the, the, the left-hand side fullback. Um, doesn't matter who it is, but he will look to try and, you know, slot in, drop a little bit deeper, try and help him out defensively, of course. But of course, dropping a little bit deeper does allow him to more or less link up quite nicely with the builder play going forward. So if you do win the ball back um, very deep, you can have more players to, to pass to and of course spring the ball around. And then as for Cabral, finally, he's here to stay central and get in behind. Now, he will look to also try and, you know, stretch that back down. Of course, you do have forward runs on. But he's going to look to more or less stay in the center, hang on the, the shoulder of the opposition, and then make his charging runs forward. And then he will sometimes look to more or less stay forward, but also he can look to drop a bit deeper if it, it is needed or required, of course. And then finally, we have a bit more of a defensive system in place here. It's the, the same 4-2-3-1 narrow shape, but... With the tactics and everything, it does change slightly. Of course, it is still set to a press after possession loss, but this time the width is, is set to a very, very narrow width, so you are going to try and force the opposition to try and cross the ball in a lot more. As for the depth, it's set to 35, which means that you want all of your players behind the ball, defending the goal, of course. Now, when you're up against the likes of a, a super strong team, maybe in the Champions League, of course, and you are under the cosh a little bit, you do want to try and implement this, and it does more or less look to try and implement a counter-attacking uh, type of uh, football. Um, as for the offensive builder player, it's set to slow and forward runs as the normal one is as well. But then there's a few little tweaks. The, the width is also set to 70. Players in the box, though, it's less. Of course, it will be Cabral and either Rafa or Di Maria, of course, that will be making the secondary man run into the box. But you're not going to try and overcommit to too many players. And then, of course, corners and free kicks is set to 4. So as for the instructions, everybody is set to the same set of instructions as the previous um, or main set of instructions, I should say, except for the likes of Cabral. He's said to have a bit more of a balance width, so you will look to run the channels a little bit more, um, not have that focal central point locked down as much. He is also still set to get in behind, but more importantly, he is set to come back on defense. So, like I say, you want every man behind the ball when defending um, either the lead or the points or the goal or whatever. You, you're wanting a lot of players back to helping defend. And there you have it, the 4-2-3-1 Benfica Roger Schmidt system set of tactics, of course. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. Most importantly, I hope you guys have a damn great day. I'm out.